Hi guys, today I'm going to review Pac-Man. I don't know, I haven't played the game. Pac-Man World 2 is a platformer. The goal in all of the levels is to reach the end. The levels are mostly linear. There are some shortcuts here and there, but overall the levels are pretty straightforward. In your adventure, you will have the ground pump move, the rev move, and you can swim. You get some power-ups, the metal pellet, and the shrink pellet. But even if they exist, they rarely appear in the game. You will rarely stumble upon them. But they could have been used more, in my opinion. The power-ups have potential. The camera is sometimes bad, not showing you the way. In some occasions a ledge is out of the frame and you can't see it, because the camera doesn't show it. Also, there are 4 boss battles in the game. I also like the attention to detail put into the game. Levels have different loading animations, and you can see that the game is worked. Overall the game is great, but there are some camera flaws and flawed level designs that turn the game into a frustrating experience in some parts. But in rest, it's great, I had fun. Pac-Man Fever is a party game, and not a good one. You can choose from 6 playable characters and only 3 different boards, the speed with which the characters move on the board is slow, and what is worse is that it doesn't have the Mario Party formula, or a better one. At the beginning of the board, everyone plays a minigame. Then, according to the leaderboard, everyone moves so many pieces on the board. After you watch everyone walk slowly to their place on the board, you play another minigame and repeat the process until someone wins. Some spaces will move you backwards or forward, there's some lucky, there's some luck involved too, but for the most part of the game, it is dull. There are some spots on the map that affect your opponents if you land on them, or your opponents affect you if they land on them, but even that doesn't hinder the game from being boring. As for the minigames, they are repetitive, dull, and some of them aren't responsive. Others are just reskins of the same minigames. In short, the minigames are terrible. Some of them are okay at best, but the majority of the game is just terrible. Pac-Man World 3 is the black sheep of the trilogy. Its development had some problems, initially it was another game that later got remodeled into a Pac-Man game, it's very similar to Pac-Man World 2, only this time you get combat sections, and those sections are very tiring, even if you have a multitude of moves, you can ground pound, you can rev and now you can punch, the combat feels just in the way of the good part of the gameplay, the platforming. Also in this game you can take control of two ghosts, Pinky and Clyde. The ghosts each have specific sections where they are used to solve puzzles, also the levels feel more open-ended and are more creative, and you get new power-ups. Overall, I find it a good entry. The combat feels in the way, but overall the game is okay. Pac-Man World Rally is a Mario Kart clone that is a lot of fun. I think you're familiar with the gameplay of a karting game where you have power-ups and power slides, so I skip that part and get to the unique stuff. A unique quirk of the game is the ability to transform and eat your competition. It's similar to the star mode in Mario Kart, only here you don't get the ability from a power-up, but from collecting dots on the track. The game has 16 different characters and it's interesting that each character has different stats, I mean speed, acceleration and steering. There are also 15 tracks, only the PSP has 16 tracks, one for each character. The game also has battle modes, the first ones are obvious from the title what they do and for the binge and classic game modes they are collected lots. You have to collect fruits in binge and dots in classic. There are 5 battle arenas, the PSP has 6, also the PSP has a challenge mode where you can do trials and letter hunts. All versions came out the same day, it's interesting that the PSP got more content. It also has the advantage of being portable, but the consoles and PC have the advantage of looking better. The PSP is more mushy, whereas on the consoles and on PC the game looks stunning, it's really beautiful. 
Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.